conspiracy theory to accept is that the Earth is not a spinning fucking rocket ball. I, I, I think I need a little secret sauce. Uh. <laughs> That's the hardest one to accept because it's so beaten in your head. Yet, it's the easiest one to disprove. Oh, God. Remedial reading test tomorrow. I mean, what do I care if Jack and Jill fell down a hall? I mean, why were they even in the building? There is mounds of evidence that would lead you to believe that everything they tell us about what the Earth does and what it is, is wrong. How was school? Hey, good. My teacher said I was intelligent. You mean intelligent? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. What a kind and generous teacher you have. Now, one day I'm going to graduate high school just like Robert, huh, Dad? If you put your mind to it, you will have a much better chance than if you never thought about it at all. Once you get to that point to where you realize that, you go, hey, fuck this stupid fucking thing! Time to take your meds. No, don't how people can drown me! You're taking your meds, ye, one way or another! We didn't go to the moon until 1969, so how do we how did we know what the Earth looked like? Idiots! I'm surrounded by idiots! Oh, come on, I've had a rough day. Give me a break. You don't deserve a break today. <laughs> and you see, a lot of the rebuttals are, well, cartography. Once we got a picture of it from space, it should have shown what it really looks like. It shouldn't have mirrored the images of the cartography maps. I got into Orange Julius School today. That's Congratulations. wonderful, Chris. Unique. He said I was lucky I was the only one who applied. You're being too modest. He also said they only accept 99% of applicants. But it did. They didn't change it at all. Okay, that's it. How are you all actually this dumb? I can't even believe I've wasted my intellect living here. That ain't suspicious. No, no. Fuck this stupid fucking thing. Hey, calm the fuck down. There's no need to cry over this stupid shit. Yes, yes, my friend. The more time you spend out of a classroom, the more time shit like this starts to make sense. You can say that again. You say that again. You can say that again. Let's say, let's, and since the whole world's playing make-believe, let's make believe that when we were young, they taught us that the world is what it appears. It's flat. Oh, absolutely not. No chance. The very idea is preposterous. And somebody comes around and says, this is your reality. It's a big spinning fucking rocket ball. Would you believe them? Well, the lights are on, but nobody's home. You know how easy it was for me to transform to this, to change over to this? I'm going to have to bleach my eyes. Good idea. Although, eyes, bleach, is that a bad one? Well, there's a fucking tree in my yard. And I want to measure the distance from me to that tree. Can I do it with mathematics? Or do I need a tape measure? Now, you know what we need in this house? Poison gas coming through the vents? <laughs> he only thinks of himself. Ergo, if I can't do an accurate measurement of a tree that's like 30 feet from me, how can I do an accurate measurement of a globe? Fuck this stupid fucking thing. I seriously think that you have cracked, man, all right? Like, like in your mind. Nah, I ain't cracked up. I live in a clock now. This is 